so speaking of things that are important in your life, I know that you guys just came back from Tennessee. Mm -hmm. What did you do there and, and what happened and, and what's next? We went to a couple of the Stella events and um, it was just an amazing experience mm -hmm. to see the gospel artists who were already signed, to see them perform yeah. and to get that feeling of their nerves and just to see that they are normal people just like we are. And then to also see the independent artists and to be an independent artist coming in, to see the struggle and how you're viewed. It's like you're, you're somewhat at, the, at the, the bottom. You're trying to climb. You're trying to climb. And it's not necessarily that you're trying to climb to the top, but you're trying to get that notoriety. That's and right. you're trying to get your ministry out there. So you're working a little bit harder. And it's okay because it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. But it was so awesome. And I remember um, Jessica Reedy's performance. And I remember hers out of everybody's because hers was just so sincere. And, you yeah. know, in the gospel industry, oh, if you can't sing, we, we, oh, we, we, we're, we are going to blast you. That's how it is. The, the gospel industry can be so judgmental and, you know, just so difficult to be in. But with her performance, she, she gave all the vocal acrobatics and, you know, she gave it to them. But just this, you were able to see her heart, she and she she had a, yeah she had a, this moment to where she was just willing to worship. She didn't care if her time was over, if her time was far spent. She just gave it all she had, and that just meant so much because it's it's very important in the industry that we're going into to be transparent. Yeah. Because people want to see that they can relate to you. That's they want to they want to know that they can feel what you feel right. about God, about this Savior. Because in order for you to be able to draw people in, you have to be able to commune yeah. and to worship with him. And it just drew me in. That's one particular event that I just, oh, uh, it just mesmerized me. And just to have, we were so humbled just to have the opportunity to be in that environment. Mm -hmm. So we just, we're strong believers that you learn by experience. And just to have that experience, being able to see firsthand just what it's like, although we did not, we weren't able to go to the actual Stella Award. No. We were able to go to the pre-show. And we're kind of debating, should we go to the pre-show? What is it going to be like? And it was similar to the Stella Awards. It was just the one that wasn't televised. That's right. And we got to see the actual the artists, we, like Jessica Reed, as Martha said, Dorinda Clark, and Tim Rogers, and some other people, and Lexi and Rashawn Mitchell hosting and things like that. Just being in that atmosphere was just like, okay, we're in the neighborhood. Like, yeah, we're in the neighborhood. <laughs> we're in the neighborhood. It just felt so good just to be in that environment and just supporting from that, that standpoint and then just imagining ourselves being on, on that, that stage. stage. Yeah, and you, and you can imagine because you will be. Yeah, we can just imagine it. It was just like, okay, we're here now. And we've always been taught not to despise humble beginnings. And we're just like, this is one of these beginnings. You know, we're developing. We're getting there. We're on our way. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're in the, in the environment. And just be, to be able to perform, we performed at the Truth's listening party. He's a gospel um, rapper. And the surprise for the evening, when the indie artist got there, um, the person that coordinated the um, Urban Soul Cafe, mm -hmm. the event that we were doing, and just a lot of the um, Stella World Weekend events, um, he told us that Leandria Johnson was, um, they were hosting her surprise birthday party. Yeah, we just love her. And yeah, we're, uh, we're fans of her, for sure. But, um, you know, just to see her at the end of the night was, it was a lot. It was, you know, we just kind of... Ice and yes. Yeah, it was great. Just to be able to see her and then just some of the other artists come in at the end of the night was just like, okay, this is great. This is perfect. Wow. And just to be around the other indie artists and just to hear their passion. It, it, it was a midday mixer that we went to. And at that event, it was at one of the jazz lounges in the area. And to be in a secular environment, but to have people of God that were like-minded, mm -hmm. just being willing to worship. And they were so supportive of one another. And mm -hmm. you could just feel in the atmosphere just that, that Christ lived in many of these people. Yeah. And it just resonated throughout the building. And just... People were not ashamed to, you know, cry and just, you know, uh, support one another. Mm -hmm. And they shouted and they worshiped. And I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I was not expecting. And this was in the morning time. Wow. It started at 10 and it went on to about 2 wow. or maybe 3 in the afternoon. And it was just wonderful. I, we really enjoyed that event. Yeah. You know, we went to the pre-show that Friday night when we got there. And then the next day, having that experience right before we had our evening uh, show we had to perform, it was just great. So, so how was the show? It went very well. Yeah. And um, during well, the, I was sick most of the week, yeah. so I'm so taking medication, medication. I'm like, Lord Jesus, please give me my voice back. And it came back well enough, so we we managed. <laughs> I, I still think it went really good. We had some hiccups here and there, you know, sound issues and things like that. But you know, we, our ministry went forth, 
and people were very receptive and mm -hmm. you know we were able to network with some of the, some of the um, indie artists and um, talk to some people about going to different events in other areas and things like that so it was just a great opportunity and we look forward to going next year. And next Definitely. year, we want to be on almost everything. Almost everything. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so Daddy, I was going to ask, what is your next step? So is that your next step? Um, we want to do that. We want to work towards, and we've already kind of contacted the person that was in charge, and we expressed that we want to do, do this yeah. again next year. We yeah. have thing. But right but, now, um, we're definitely working on our album yeah. and writing more songs to submit to other artists. We're really, you know, heavily involved in that. And um, any opportunity that we can have to sing at someone's church or minister at their event, we definitely want to be there. 